Hello everyone, I'm Mohsen and I'm back with the fourth video of Android App Development Course for Beginners. In this video, I'm gonna show you the different parts of a project. So if you are ready, let's get started. But before that, remember to subscribe the channel and hit the bell button to be aware about new videos. Let's go! Hello my friends, this is the main page of Android Studio. At the end of the last video, I told you I will explain the uh, different parts of a new project in the Android Studio. So uh, if you haven't watched uh, the previous videos, uh, I will put the link of them in the description of this uh, video and you can easily find them. So let's get started. Here I have two files. The one of them is mainactivity.kt and the other one is uh, activity underscore main.xml. This is the Kotlin file of uh, the main activity of the application and uh, we are writing Kotlin codes inside it to do any uh, function any activity anything that i want so uh, in this one we will design the interface of the application and as you see here uh, it has option to see the design or see the codes uh, in xml language by writing these codes we will see this screen and you can split the page to see both of them at the same time okay uh, you may ask what is an activity keep this question in your mind and I will answer it within two minutes here is the uh, packages of our project the whole project is stored in the app folder I will open it and I will begin from the first folder to explain it to you the first folder is manifest folder we can find android manifest.xml file inside it let me open it there are some codes here uh, in of course xml language uh, let's see what is uh, manifest and what are these codes i have here the app manifest overview page of uh, developer.android.com website that i told you in the last video it's provided by google and you can find the answer of all of your questions regarding to android in this website the developer.android.com website says every app project must have an android manifest.xml file with precisely that name uh, you cannot uh, change this name at the root of the project source set the manifest file describes essential information about your app uh, to the android build tools the android operating system and the google play so we have some information inside uh, this file uh, that uh, providing some information to uh, the part of Android Studio that builds the application for us uh, which means uh, Android build tools and uh, for the OS of Android itself and also when we are publishing uh, the app into the Play Store there are some uh, informations inside the manifest file for the website Google Play what are these informations? First of all, the components of the app, which include all activities, services, broadcast receivers, and content providers. Uh, let's see what are these components. Here, activities. They dictate the UI and handle the user interaction to the smartphone screen. Let me give you an example. This is the Instagram uh, application in the Play Store website. 
uh, we have some photos here this is the main page of the Instagram application when you are opening the Instagram you're gonna see this application this uh, page sorry this page is one activity and for example if you press this camera button this page which is uh, connected to your camera will be open and this one is another activity when you are pressing this button uh, you will be going to the direct messages page which is this page and this is another activity as well by pressing this uh, arrow you will go back to the main activity so this activity is parent of this activity now let me explain what is an activity here in the android studio we saw that we have uh, two files one of them is the interface of the activity and the other one is the file that we are writing the code to make uh, all of these buttons functional so each page of your application is an activity and it has two main parts one of them is the user interface and the other one is the uh, basic codes that makes the application functional okay let's see what is the next uh, component the services they handle background processing associated with an application let me give you an example consider uh, you are writing a text and at the same time you are listening to music by your phone the music uses the service it can be played in the background without uh, having uh, interfere with the other applications so uh, playing music uses a service and also for example uh, at the night you are uh, setting an alarm for the morning and you are going to bed and in the morning the phone automatically will be uh, playing the alarm for you this one is uh, a service as well the next thing is the broadcast receivers they handle communication between android operation system and the applications and uh, the content providers they handle data and uh, database management issues so these are clear let's go back to the definition of manifest okay the first part was uh, information about all of these uh, uh, components of the application the next thing that we have inside the manifest file is the permissions that the app needs in order to access uh, protected parts of the system or other apps in the first part i said we have some information for google play inside this uh, manifest file let's go back to the play store and i'm going down here we have the permissions view the details permissions of uh, instagram application is your contacts uh, device id location camera microphone storage Wi-Fi, SMS, photos, phone, all of these uh, things are the permissions that we uh, should give to the Instagram application to work functional. And uh, in the manifest file of the Instagram application, uh, <coughs> all of uh, the permissions are mentioned. So this was the next part and the last part is the hardware and software features uh, the app requires which affects which devices can install uh, the app from Google Play. So 
this one is also clear let's go back to the android studio in the manifest file <coughs> Every application has an icon. For example, again, let's go back here. This is the icon of Instagram. So the first thing that we have inside the manifest is the uh, icon and the location of the icon of the application. This label is the name of the application. We named our application Hello World. And uh, Another type of the icon we need, uh, and this is the address of the location of the icon here, and uh, the style of the app, the theme of the app is here, and here, uh, before this application tag, we can write the permissions that we need. Uh, later on, I will explain it where we need to get a permission in our applications and between this activity tag and this activity tag we have all of the information that we need uh, to have uh, this main activity and if we have another activity here will be two other activity tags and the data of the other activity will be stored here in this part and uh, if you have multiple activities we have here more 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 space and different uh, tags of activity and all of the data will be stored inside it so which kind of data we have first of all the name of the activity and uh, the second thing that we have is here uh, is written the category of the uh, application for sorry the category of the activity and for this main activity is the launcher activity what does it mean let's go back to our example again here we have different uh, pages of the instagram page but as i told you this one is the first page whenever we are opening the application always we see at the beginning this page so this one is the launcher uh, activity and as i told you by pressing this arrow we will go back to this page and this is the parent of uh, this activity so consider we have another activity here and the data of the activity are here so here you can write inside this part that uh, when you are pressing back to which application to which activity uh, the application should go and uh, consider here we have the data about the direct messages page of the Instagram and on the top we are writing the main activity and whenever we are pressing the back button it goes to the main activity and main activity is the launcher activity whenever we are opening the application we see this uh, activity okay uh, that was everything about uh, Android manifest file. It's enough for now. And let's go to the next folder. Here we have the Java folder. Uh, the location of uh, main activity.kt file is inside this folder. And uh, when we are building some more activities all of these activities uh, has these two parts as well and uh, the Kotlin files will be stored here one by one and no matter the language of uh, the main activity is uh, Kotlin or Java the name of this folder will remain Java The next folder is the resources. First package is drawable. I was talking about the icon of the application. So uh, here you see 
the background of the icon of the application and it's stored here and uh, these are the codes that are written to make this layout for us what is the driver let's go back to our example you see uh, these buttons here these are the buttons and each of them has its own shape its own uh, face we call them vectors all of these uh, vectors and like this like this like this will be stored in this file in the drawable all of the photos and visual parts of the application the vectors are uh, stored in the drawable file and uh, whenever you want to use them inside the codes you should uh, give the uh, address of the file which is inside the drawable the next folder is the layout this is the location of all of the layout files i'm gonna close it and by double click on it it will be open again so if you have some multiple activities all of the layout files will be stored in, in this folder the next one is meep map and uh, you saw that uh, the address of the icon in the manifest file was here at sign meep map and uh, after the slash is the name of the file so this is this file I'm gonna click on it and you see it. This is the default icon photo of all of the applications that we are uh, building in the Android Studio. And after that, if you want, you can change them. Uh, you may ask why we have several uh, files with the same name. Uh, these are regarding to different screen size of the phones. HDPI, MDPI, x HDPI, double x HDPI, and triple x HDPI. i'm gonna open some of them and you see the difference between the sizes uh, that's it okay the next uh, package the next folder is the values first uh, file is colors.xml all of the colors that we are using in the application are uh, located here uh, if you want to design the application by yourself and use different colors you have to uh, store the colors here and later on just like the icon uh, file you should uh, tell the app that the location of uh, this color is here inside this color file uh, for example i'm gonna copy this line and paste it here then i want to have for example yellow color i'm gonna call it yellow then i will click on this box and I'm gonna choose the yellow. I can choose my own yellow color, my favorite yellow, for example. And then here I have the yellow color as well. Or maybe you can search uh, the code of the color that you want inside the uh, Google. And after that, write it here and name it any color that you want the next file is strings here we have only one string now and it's the app name but let's go back to our example again as you see here in this page it's written here instagram stories watch all uh, your story uh, all of this uh, fixed uh, words 
R1 string and these strings will be stored inside uh, this uh, string that XML resource file. Why we should store them here? To consider uh, here in our example, we have uh, different pages. At any page that we want to uh, call this string, uh, we can write the location of the string and we can have it on the page that we are working. So if I want to have this Instagram label on top of all of uh, our pages, all of the activities, I can uh, store this Instagram inside the uh, string file and then by calling it, I can show it everywhere that I want. Okay. And uh, this one is the theme of the app. Uh, you will be familiar with this uh, later. So don't worry. We will use it too much. And the last but not least is the Gradle file. All of the applications, all of the projects that we are building has this uh, folder named Gradle. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the detail of this uh, folder. I just uh, will explain what is it and what is the duty of the Gradle. So consider you are writing a lot of codes in the different part of this uh, project and uh, building the application. Uh, then you have to check it on uh, like a physical device or a virtual machine. So the Gradle should uh, take the data from all of the resources and the zip files and everywhere, all of the codes, the photos, the strings, the colors, and make an APK file uh, based on the whole information that we gave. Uh, and we can install that apk file on a device to check it so this is the duty of the gradle the gradle builds the application out of the resources that we will give it uh, some data are stored inside it for example uh, the minimum android version that we mentioned at the beginning when we want to build the project we are telling the gradle so you should make a package that works on the Android version blah uh, to the newest uh, Android version that is available on the market and some other informations that later on we will uh, check them, change them, use them based on our need. Okay my friends this is the end of this video. If you find it useful please remember to share it with your friends and remember to subscribe the channel if you are new in my channel. Thank you for your time. If you have any question, uh, write down in the comments below and I will answer to your uh, comments as soon as possible. Goodbye.